Hello, Akako. This is Pastor Keith coming from Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani Town here in the state of Hawaii. Today is Friday, June 17th. In the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, the ELCA, on this day, we commemorate the martyrs that are, we call the Emmanuel Nine those who were martyred at a Bible study at Mother Emanuel AME Church in Charleston, South Carolina, where one of ours killed two of ours, nine of ours. A young white man, baptized, raised, confirmed in the ELCA, attended a Bible study at the Mother Church, the Black Church of the African Methodist Episcopal Church there in Charleston, South Carolina, and at the end of the Bible study, he pulled out a gun and killed nine people, hoping to start a race war. We are going to have more to talk about there uh, later tonight. Uh, I'll have a more extended uh, uh, Facebook uh, lament and service of repentance that uh, you can join us in as you can. For now, we are going to read the Beatitudes from Matthew 5. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. E poule, kako, let us pray. Save us, O God, from ourselves, from racism often cloaked in pious words, from the machinations of white supremacy hidden in calls for civility, from microaggressions thinly veiled in arrogance, from apologies when they don't give way to action, from forgiveness without facing the truth, from reconciliation without reparation. Deliver us, O oh God, from expecting siblings of color to continue to bear this emotional work, which is not theirs to do. Grateful for the long arc that bends toward justice, we pray. Grant us wisdom. Give us courage for the facing of these days. And by the power of the Spirit, all for the sake of the kingdom that we share in Christ Jesus. In his name, we pray all these things. Amen. And now, a blessing. O oh God, with the help of your mercy and grace, lead us to think, believe, and change. May your gospel's transforming power be the working of the Holy Spirit. Be present in us in our churches, in our nation, and all the nations of the earth. May it be so, and let the people together say, Amen. Go in peace. 
work for justice. Thanks be to God.